Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. Hope everybody's doing well in this bizarre world that we're living in right now. Um, kind of wanted to go over something I've been working on. Uh, VCV Rack, which is a virtual modular synthesizer, just came up uh, came out with VCV Rack 2, and I've been playing around with that and playing around with some different ambient music and wanted to kind of share what I've been doing. Um, I owe a ton of thanks to Omri Cohen, who is a great teacher on this subject. I've learned so much from him. I'm going to include his channel uh, below the video here. This is a patch that he... A concept patch he was working on, like an ambient patch. So I kind of took the idea that he was using and kind of just turned it into my own. So this was very uh, inspired by him. So let me kind of go over what I'm doing. Um... I started off with the clock here, and the clock is at 80 beats per minute, and from there I have three separate clocks. I have a clock times two, a clock divided by 12, and a clock divided by two. Um, let me kind of just go over the pad first. I'll go over each instrument. So the pad is, um, I used a sound from Omnisphere, and I used four chords here in the key of C minor. Uh, so I used a C minor, a B flat major, an A flat major, and a G. And this particular chord that I'm using, chord uh, modules that I'm using, they just do it in sharp, so it's A sharp and G sharp. And to randomize this, I used a sequential switch, which just randomized all four of these chords, so I'll just play them in random order. Let me go ahead and play this for you, show you what it sounds like. Let me uh, mute all this. And here we go. Mute this, and whoops, sorry. All right, let's see how this sounds. So there goes the chords, and you'll see here. Let me uh, zoom, let me resume here. Oops, sorry. Okay, so as you can see. The sequential switch is switching between these four at random, based on the clock that's divided by 12. So there's number four. Moves to three. So that's kind of what that sounds like. Alright, I took notes here, I had to. Um, so the second thing I did was a pluck. And I have two plucks going. The first pluck goes to the clock. And it's right here. Used another sound out of Omnisphere. Um, used a note sequencer, or sorry, note sequencer from uh, JW. So this is a quantizer, and what it did is it puts it into the key I ask it to go into, which is going to be over here, C minor, uh, minor. And what it does is it randomizes notes here. So let me show you what it sounds like. And all this is going through reverb as well, which is up here. I've got reverb and delay up here, and it goes through reverb and delay. So that's where you're getting some of that uh, reverb and delay from. Let me show you the first pluck. So it's doing it's just random thing in C minor. And then I've got a second pluck, which does the same thing except it goes in reverse. So when one goes up, one goes up, two goes down. That's, uh, Omri taught me that in the counterpoint. Let me show you how that sounds. So it kind of goes up and down. Um, that's what those two sound like. And I added two more plucks, and they are pluck three and four over here. So number three here goes through, um, let me show you what it sounds like. It does the same thing, just different modules and um, so there's three. And it's going through a different thing. It's going through a sample and hold from its brains and that's helping randomize it and this thing chances also helps randomize it. And I'm using a plug-in here, or not, sorry, not a plug-in, but a uh, module from uh, Nisi, which is called Squonk, and it kind of just randomizes the notes here. It's kind of, it's pretty cool, and the fourth pluck does the same thing, but it goes in reverse, and that's over here, right here. 
Alright, the next thing I have in here is uh, two drones. So the drones just kind of go throughout the song. Um, they use, here's drone one, it uses the key of C, and I use this thing called rough tone, even though it is in C in general. Uh, just to make sure, I use rough tone, you can set it to whatever note you want. It's using a saw way from Squinky Labs, and it's also modulating through a um, module called Feline here, through uh, from Valley. So I'm modulating the frequency, and I'm modulating, I think that's all I'm modulating on this one. So let me show you what it sounds like. Um, is this drone one? Let's see, one, two, three, four, drone one. Okay, here goes drone one. So it's just got that droney sound in C. And then I've got a second drone that does the same thing, except so I'm using a different uh, oscillator. And I am also running it through filters from the uh, Bogue Audio, the PEQ6, running it through filters. So let me show you how that one sounds here. It's kind of got that dark, menacing sound that's just, you know, it's just, it keeps the song together, it just drones on. Okay. So there that is. The next thing I did was I used. Uh, metal percussion. So I got this off of East West, and it is randomizing itself, and it's being um, just randomizes itself, and it's to the clock at neg or sorry, divided by twelve. So let me show you what that sounds like. Uh, I think. Oh, that's a noise. Sorry, that's. It. And it'll go in just a second here once it gets triggered. So I'll just add some randomness and some uh, fun percussion to it, and that happens uh, 80 divided by 12, so whenever it triggers that, it triggers that. Um, the other thing I had, I had noise in here, but I took that out, and these are voices here, which are, I'll put in a different video. They're going to be used, they were going to be used in the song, but it doesn't sound right, it sounds just, it's too much for it. So, um, let me show you how everything sounds all together here. We'll go ahead and... Mute everything. Um, mute that. Let's take the mutes off here. Do, do. All right, so I've got everything set to reset on the clock here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and reset the clock, reset everything, and here's what it sounds like all together. <laughs> itself and kind of does its own thing so it'll be different every time I reset it and hit play. Okay so that's what the song sounds like. If you have a chance check this uh, check VCV Rack 2 out. Um, I'm running a Mac, a 2013 Mac, the, um, the trash can looking Mac. And it seems to do fine with this. It overloads once in a while because there's some uh, heavy modules in here um, that VCV offers. So what I downloaded was a fan app to make sure, um, see how my temperatures are doing and how fast my fans are running. And it doesn't overload it too often and it seems to be okay. But you're going to need a pretty powerful computer to use it. Um, I don't know any other way around it at this point. But this is kind of what it looks like, and if you um, get a chance, check out VCV Rack 2. And uh, also, if you want to learn a ton more, um, check out Omri's channel. Thanks for watching.